Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. I am so, so excited for this video. I am going to be doing a DIY bathroom makeover all while not spending a lot of money and this is all renter friendly. I am so excited to share this video and give you guys some ideas because I know there's a lot of you who rent a home and it might not be what you want, but rest assured I'm going to show you how you can transform your space and truly make it your home. If you are tuning in for the first time, please make sure you smash that big old red subscribe button and join my family. I would love to have you a part of my journey. I have many more upcoming decor and home videos because you guys know I did just recently move in in the last few weeks and I'm just in the process of truly making this mine. So let's get right into the video. We're gonna start off first by giving this bathroom a very much needed deep clean. This is the first time I really thoroughly cleaned it since moving in, so everything needed to be wiped down and then we'll get into doing the cabinet and the countertop DIY. You're going to want to make sure that you thoroughly wipe down any area that you use the peel and stick contact paper that way you don't have anything poking through and you have a nice clean surface to work on i really love this microban bathroom cleaner it disinfects it sanitizes i've also used the sanitizing spray in the past before um, it has a really good scent too so i'm just going to wipe down all of the cabinets give the counter a good scrub down so that way I will have a nice clean space to work on. was ever so kind to send me their new dual action disinfectant cleaner. This kills 99.9% .9 of germs and it is flu season, you guys, upon with everything else that's been going on in this crazy 2020. So I think it's just really important to definitely deep clean and disinfect your home, especially when flu season is upon us. So I'm going to let this soak on my toilet for about five minutes and I'm going to go ahead and then wipe it all down. I have been using the Barkeeper's Friend toilet bowl cleaner. It works really, really good. You guys know I love me some Barkeeper's Friend. I use it on my pots and pans and my sink on so many things. The toilet bowl cleaner is amazing. It gets literally any rust and stain out of that toilet. We were destined to be and now you're I want to take a moment to just thank all of you who have continued to show love and support and many of you have sent housewarming gifts or just your well wishes messages literally brighten my day i know sometimes it might seem like i'm handling things 
so easily but inside it's a struggle at times but you know we find a way to push through it and so far I've had a great support system here on YouTube family and friends so I, I just take it one day at a time but I really really appreciate all of the continued support you guys continue to show me I know a lot of you say I inspire you but it's so crazy so many of you inspire me in many ways that are on set and I just really want to say thank you and I appreciate you being here watching my videos and just supporting me and my family she took my principles and turned them upside down I had never felt that way but what's to say sometimes good things end so this is the contact paper I'm going for on my counters. It's just a marble. I love this contact paper. I've used it in the past in my previous home. And I did that like two years ago. And you guys, it's still going strong. Um, a pocket knife. You might need a squeegee or a credit card. Just something to smooth out any air bubbles that you might get when you're rolling it down. But now the first thing I'm going to do is just pretty much start at the top and work my way down. So I'm going to roll it down and kind of just size it. Now when you're doing this, you don't have to cut perfect. It's not going to be perfect. That's what I like about the marble because even if you're cutting and if you have to go back and fix something, a lot of times it just all kind of blends in together. So don't get caught up on being perfect with it and trying to have it perfect because it doesn't need to be. I promise it's going to look good at the end. No one's going to even notice if there was any type of mistake. Like here for the little edge there, all I'm doing, I just cut off a small piece and then I place it over there. I kind of sized it and then I'm just going to trim it down some more and I think it blends perfectly. Stop running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before this part here actually was not too bad, but you'll kind of see what I'm talking about as far as like cutting perfect. I do not cut perfect by any means. My lines are not straight. A lot of times I have to go back in and add a little bit more to it, which is perfectly fine because like I said, it's going to blend in perfectly, but you just want to try to get any bubbles out and smooth it out as best as you can. Do it gently. And that's the Plus about this being peel and stick, you can pull it up. Usually, like you can see here, if it's not too bad, that's why you just need to roll it slow and just smooth it out. But look at that, it looks seamlessly. Like you would never know that that is contact paper. I know I can be safe with you. You want me now, I know you do. I know you'll be impatient and I love you for that. You show me how to dare to love. So tell me what you're thinking of. Cause I won't be afraid not holding anything back. Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I Now for the cabinets, I'm using a black wood grain contact paper. I really, really love this. It literally looks like real wood grain tones, which I think is cool because it adds a lot of dimension. 
and I think it's gonna flow perfectly with the boho theme because it's gonna make it look a little bit more modern with the, the black cabinets and the marble countertops and then I can add in the other touches of like the boho mix it in I absolutely am in love with the way that the cabinets turned out for sure I'm just going to do the same process like I did with the countertop. The cabinets were a little bit trickier as far as like the doors just because of those dips that were in them. They were quite tedious, but overall I think it still turned out good. And what I really liked about this black contact paper is that even with the amount of mistakes I made applying this, it still blended in. You couldn't even tell where it ended or where it began. You guys will see here, this is what I was talking about with it being tedious. I was struggling here, I'm not even gonna lie. The first cabinet, I felt like I did it perfectly, but when I got to the second, I was noticing that this was like the end of the contact paper, and I was starting to get nervous that I wasn't gonna have enough. And then you see what I did here, it got completely tangled up. It was a mess, but another plus, like I said, with this black one, even though I had it all ripped up and I was destroying it, it still ended up blending in seamlessly. Now I'm just going to screw the doors back on. I did not contact paper the inside. Like I said, I only had one roll here and I barely made it. There's actually a bottom piece that I will need to get another roll for to cover and kind of just fix some of the other areas that I kind of rushed. It was almost three in the morning at this point. I was tired, you guys. So now I'm going to change out the lighting because lighting is everything. I'm tired of the yellow. I'm switching it all out for daylight. Look at the difference just from switching out the lighting. It's bright. Oh, it's coming together beautifully. Now I'm going to start decorating you guys. I'm hanging up the shower curtain. I got the shower curtain from Walmart. Super pretty. I love the tassels on the side. The detail is just so beautiful. So I'm hanging this up and then I have some hand towels, a new rug. I think the shower curtain was 20 bucks. I want to say the rug was like 14. Um, the hand towels... I just got a black one that was a couple bucks. The, the design ones were a little bit more pricier but I, I really like that the way they look once I was finished putting it all together I think it was worth the price because they're just going to be for decor purposes don't use my hand towels when you come in my bathroom that's like the number one rule I just want to be the one saves the heat and make me make a promise and make it through all of this scent smells amazing. I'm going to change out my plug-in warmer and I'm going to add in my night lights. This is a little farmhouse night light I actually got on Amazon. And then add a pop of green and some more wood tones just to kind of warm up the space a little bit. love how much counter space I have in this bathroom but I wanted to keep the decor simple I didn't want to overcrowd it so I just put some cotton balls and q-tips in these jars that I got at Ross like a few years ago I've had them for a long time you guys they were like super cheap but I really just like the way that it looked it's simple but still cute <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and hang up the towels I had no idea what I was doing here, what I wanted to do. I kind of just went with it. At first I was like, oh, I should have got another black towel, but then I just did it this way. And I actually do like the way that it looks. It's simple, but it still pops out. I do feel like I need to add something on this wall, maybe like some cute signs or something, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Most of the decor that I'm hanging up was stuff that I had from my previous home. 
Um, the only thing that I bought was the shower curtain, the towels, and the rug, and that was pretty much it. All the other decor pieces were stuff that I already had. So you don't need to always buy new. Shop your home, you guys. You might be able to repurpose things that you already have, kind of bring life to a space. You don't always have to spend a lot of money or buy new everything whenever you're trying to freshen up an area of your home. Always shop your home first, you guys, because it's so easy to do a DIY with something that you may already have. Pinterest is my go-to place whenever I'm kind of at a standstill of decor ideas and I'll usually just look on there for inspiration. So I want to give you guys a last glimpse of the before. The bathroom is a huge space. There was so much I knew I wanted to do with this, but still something simple. Um, the cabinets, I just knew right away that that wasn't going to work for me. I wasn't feeling that they were kind of outdated. But other than that... I love the way that it looks now. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see this transformation? It literally looks like a brand new bathroom. I am really proud of myself with how this turned out. I had a vision in my head and mind you, most of the stuff that I bought, I bought before I actually moved in. So it was hard trying to remember exactly what looks like what, but all in all, I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. And this is probably one of my favorite DIY projects I've ever done. love the way that this turned out. I literally could stand in this bathroom for hours and it's just unreal that I literally spent like $50. That's it. All for $50, you guys. By shopping for things in my home that I already had and just adding simple touches like hand towels. The contact paper is such a great idea, especially if you rent your home and you feel like it's not truly a home because it's not what you may want it to be. A $5 roll of contact paper will transform any space that you have in your home and make it feel brand new and truly yours. I hope you guys really did enjoy today's video and it gave you some inspiration and some ideas on how you can transform a space and truly make it feel like a home. If you did enjoy today's video, please share this video, give it a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe for more videos to come. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Thank you.